silences are pushing you down I will live on Embedded in this sound Playing in loop Keep you cool Keep your calm Well hey I know you're selfless Classless Careless and charm Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, everybody. This, you guys do sound wonderful together. Um, can you, could you introduce us to, to everybody? Yeah, everybody. Here we all are. Hey, I'm Joey Howard. Hey, Joey. Playing bass. Juan Solorzano. Playing. Playing guitar. Obviously. 
Megan Coleman playing drums. And Jess Nolan playing keys. All right, thank you, everybody. So um, can we talk a little bit about, um, in, about the therapeutic value of having written this record and about having put it out in the world, maybe the ways that that helped you to, to pull out of a difficult time and, kind of, and, and rejoin the world and be around people? Can we talk about some of the, the value that it's had to you personally to, to get Good Morning America out into the world to people? Yeah, I went um, into this record writing a different record because I started writing before COVID and uh, I scheduled dates to record it and it was for March of, of 2020 and then COVID happened and everything got canceled and I had this collection of songs and you know I had to wait to record them and I so in the wait waiting period basically as a musician you couldn't do anything you can't you know you can't perform music anywhere you can't do recording sessions you, what do you do you write more songs um so i um started writing more but i was also you know kind of exploring things inside of m my head and past that maybe i hadn't confronted before um because you have a lot of time to reflect during during you know that covid lockdown like you know it was a really great period to sort of reconnect with yourself you know the the hustle of everyday life and the hustle and bustle of just doing things and pressures of of uh, you know being an adult you know kind of got put on hold during that period so i was able to sort of you know explore things that i had maybe not explored before and started writing songs as a reflection of that and you know i was already in a in a period of being super scared and down about what was going to happen with the country and Donald Trump at that moment in time, it sort of felt like maybe he was going to stay in power. Like I didn't, I didn't really understand how we were going to get him out of office and what was going to happen with that. It was very, for me, I, I, I was, I was actually scared, you know? Um, so I would, I wrote a lot about that and, you know, the song decent man, you know, goes a lot into that because my daughter had asked me out of frustration one day are there any decent men left you know it's like that's a good question <laughs> you know um and so sat that was sort of the launch pad to this new group of songs that i wrote for this record and i sat at my kitchen table and and wrote that and got very inspired and uh kind of went in my car around to different spots um in Missouri where I'm from and did some writing alone and recording and just wrote a new record and uh, yeah so great well mm. thank you very much for sharing sharing the music and some of the the inspiration behind mm. it uh, I mean good for you for staying active and doing the work on yourself and your own brain and your own life yeah. I mean it's been you know easy for plenty of people just to dig a hole and dive into Netflix and not do anything and not yeah. work hard at all so I'm glad that you found the inspiration yeah. to do that and and are sharing it with us today and there's thank still you. a lot more music to be shared what's coming up second today uh, this next song is called uh, breathe <laughs> Survive through 
And you're waiting for hours Little mask is too far To see it all To decide from my All right, thank you, everybody. Um, when so you mentioned Marissa, Marissa Nadler earlier, and I know that you're you're busy with a lot of projects that are not Lawrence Rothman music, with uh, production stuff, with film scoring, with um, you know, producing other records. That soundtrack that you did as well. Can you talk a little bit about what it's like to balance every one of those pursuits? I mean, does it scratch like the same part of your brain, or is it are they like individual pursuits that you've got to sort of compartmentalize and do one, then do the other, or is it all kind of part of the same same whole? I really like making music like a lot and there's only so much um, of my own art I can make where you just sort of get to get bored you know um, and I really enjoy working with other other artists and like kind of looking at their process and adding my process to the, to you know, what they've already perfected and sort of coming up with something that's maybe they haven't done before. Um, and I like when people do that to my own music. So I'm always looking for interesting projects to involve myself with that feel as fulfilling as my own music. Cause I'm not the type of person who's seeking to be like a producer, you know, doing lots of production work, but I really enjoy it when it's the right, um, you know, scenario. And, um, for the first half of this year, I've been working with Amanda Shires on her new album and that's been super rewarding um you know just looking at such a great songwriter and, and seeing how you know they execute uh you know their songs and and the process of, of of that work and so i enjoy doing it and it 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 shakes up my cobwebs you know i can get sort of stuck in my my own ways and it, it turns me on to different a palette of colors that maybe I hadn't been exposed to um, that then, you know, I can incorporate into what I do and they, I can give them my palette as well, you know, so. Yeah, and even when you're when you're spending the time doing what you do and working on your own music, there's mm. such a wide array of of collaborators on that mm. record. I mean, Pino Palladino and yeah. and and yeah. Uh, Lucinda Williams. I mean, if there's so many other voices on there, I'm sure that that was. I mean, probably scratches that itch where you're saying that it's you know nice it's nice to incorporate those other palettes. It's, yeah, it's been a total I, and pleasure I like on to make a lot of it. instrumental music, and so that led me to film scoring. Um, because sometimes there's only so much you can do with words where you're just like, you want to break from words and you want to hear just beautiful music, you know, so. Sweet, well, thank you for sharing it again. And there is there's more music to be shared with everybody right now. What's coming up last today? Uh, this song's called The Fix.
Thank you for, for kicking was, off the series. This is breath, the first huh? one from this wonderful backyard forest at Jan's house. So thank you for kicking us off the right way, Amanda. Thank you. This has been been great. And congratulations to you in advance. Um, Good Morning America out July 16th on your own label, um, yeah. KRO Records. And so it's a lot of exciting stuff. Crow Records. Crow, Crow Records. Crow, okay. K, yeah, I was going to ask you what it was an acronym for. for. What is it? I, I don't really like the term bro no offense to anybody who says it i you can say it i just a person don't like it and so and i look at i don't look at people i look at people as just people so i wanted something that was like a way to say bro and i like magic so like i was like what if it was like a magical bro so you're with a k so you're a crow you know so that's that's nice. it. <laughs> You're all crows. We're all crows. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming through and sharing the music. Um, July 16th, Good Morning America. This is this has been a total pleasure. I hope Thanks to cross for having paths. me. Thanks for having me at your house. It's a beautiful yeah. home. 
All right. Thank See you, you next time. Bye.